everybody, Iceman50 here. Uh, we're gonna do some brakes today because I, I am the, uh, I'm like the drift king, like the brake king. <laughs> That's my specialty is brakes. DK. So <laughs> anyways, <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna do the front brakes on this uh, 2015 Nissan Sentra and uh, we're gonna pull off the uh, rotors and we're gonna just replace the pads and it's pretty much like my Challenger, but different. So, <laughs> all right guys, uh, we'll take a walk around the car and uh, you can see, uh, you know, what it is and then uh, we'll go from there. We'll bring you back when uh, we got stuff apart. All right. under here for a safe spot to jack up on. Maybe what we'll do is we'll just do the one side at a time deal. Interesting, I've never... <laughs> okay. I can't tell if it's... It feels like a real bolt. Uh, let me see if... Let me... I gotta see if I got some Allen wrenches hanging up here. I got a, uh, a hex bit set here just in case these things... It seems like one of them may be a screw. Let's see here. It, yeah. Like there's actual one, there's one real screw on these rims and then the rest are fake just to keep the center cap on. So it is some extra deterrent to uh, not be able to get in here so quick and easy. Come on, there we go. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was gonna be worse. Oh, okay. That's a little. <laughs> that was a little worse. Now, jack it up. Yeah. Uh, can you bring over the uh, five pound sled trimmer too? Everybody, so at least the caliper bolts are coming out. Alright everybody, so at least the caliper bolts are coming out, no big deal. And it's a scorcher already everybody, it's hot. Hot in here, out here. We got ourselves a, a uh, bungee cord. We just wrap this around the spring, like so. Well, let's go. We'll bring it. Get it kind of up here, right? And then we'll just hook it around something like that. There. See? Now it's out of the way, and now we can start. We can get these these pads off. Of here. Oh yeah, this is like car porn right here. <laughs> you like brakes? <laughs> oh man. Uh. Yeah, they were done. Oh, this could be bad. Oh, I came loose. Wow. Wow. 
Oh. Yeah, there is a god. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, this isn't gonna be a, a four-hour job like last time on the challenge. Let's see if we can persuade this rotor to come off. And uh, yeah, you can see how bad this pad is. Been leaving. Uh, just slightly. This one's, it's down, it's down, not all the way quite to the backing plate like the other one, but it's down. Uh, this isn't bad. We'll, uh, we'll take the wire brush and we'll brush this out and we'll clean the pins off. We'll re-grease them. We'll, we'll put it all back in there. Um, let's see if we can, <laughs> yeah, this is, the, this is the sucky part. Hey! Some, uh, so glad down here. All right. Uh, this pin is. Uh, next time the brakes are changed, this pin's gonna have to be changed. It's rusty. All right. Squirt it up. All right. So now we get our ham right here. Trust me. You beat them on a quarter turn, they ain't coming loose. Uh, uh, there's two of them. So the one with the wear sensor, uh, this one looks like it was, this was the in, yeah, this was the inboard pad. So we need one that looks just like that to go there. And then the outboard pad uh, is, one of, is one of these. So now we need to, uh, pop the hood we need to open up the brake reservoir we need a clamp prop rod hmm. is there a prop rod here somewhere ah oh! goddamn jack cars it's in the friggin hood all right everybody so uh here's the uh the old brake rotor you can see here's the new brake rotor there's uh, quite a difference. See if we can look at this edge on. See that one. Yeah, look at this. She brand new. Yeah, it's nice. We just got to clean it, clean it off because they leave a, a protective layer of oil on it and uh, anti-corrosion and uh, we'll get to putting it on. All right, guys, we'll see you in a minute. Slowly squeezing in the piston. All right. Just slow, I open the reservoir up there. And now we're just slowly, you can see I got my wrench in here so that I got something to uh, push on. Again, you don't really need a lot of complicated tools, you know, just a uh, C-clamp and a wrench. This is my uh, crescent hammer, uh, pry bar, you name it, Swiss Army crescent wrench tool. It does it all. All right, so uh, if it was already this full, when we go to do the other side, it's gonna be even worse. Uh, yeah, that's why, you know, unless you, bleeding doesn't take much, which we will do here. When we get the other side, we'll bleed them, you know. Uh, but uh, normally it should, it stays one level and you know, nothing really disappears and you shouldn't have a problem. So we're gonna try and Get this bleeder loose a little bit. I... Trevor's gonna get in there. Careful, this is closed. All right, hang on, let me get the uh, cap on. Okay. Okay, all right, uh, slowly, slowly pump them. Okay gone okay so you're gonna pump pump hold and then I'm gonna I'm gonna crack it and then I'm gonna say okay stop right yeah. and then yeah all right pump it again Ugh. 
looks good. We're good. All right, everybody, we're gonna get the wheel on this side, and then uh, we're gonna move over to the other side. We just want to get them snug so that when we put it down, it doesn't move. I love this aluminum racing jack. This thing is sweet. I bought it. I waited till it was on sale. I waited years for this thing to go on sale. <clears throat> oh, now we get to come on the, the side that's all uh, in the sun. Yeah. I mean, it's not like there's a lot of shade here, but I got a little shade. Uh. Now, we need to put this cover back on. This is crazy with one real bolt and some fake ones. <laughs> All right, everybody, I'm gonna take a break for a second. I need to drink some more water. It's, uh, my back is getting tired. All right, everybody, we'll be back. We, uh, we finished them up. I got both sides on this side, obviously went a lot faster, but uh, we're gonna hop in here and test it out. All right. These are definitely uh, sensitive. Okay. All right. Well, at least it breaks. There's a, there's a little bit of noise I'm sure that's uh, gonna go away as things seed in. Could even be a wheel bearing. It's 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 a very light scratching sound, so I, it doesn't really sound like a wheel bearing to me. But uh, we'll just take it up the street here. We'll rip it a little bit. Dang, yeah, these are uh, not bad. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll uh, see you on the next one. Easy.